General Secretary of the General Agricultural Workers Union of the Trade Union Congress has joined us uh, on the telephone lines for a bit more. Uh, many thanks, Dr. Carraway, for speaking to us this afternoon. So, uh, are these concerns legitimate to start off with? Well, uh, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to our listeners. I, I think that uh, the concerns are legitimate because uh, they are going to have uh, a, a, a negative effect on us who are not in Europe because of our strong ties, trade relations with uh, Europe. Anything that affects Europe affects us as well. Uh, just also because uh, we have not been able to insulate our economies to, uh, uh, with that of uh, the European countries. So whatever decision that is taken there certainly has an impact on us. And in the immediacy, is there anything that it seems can be done by the government of the day to avert a possible food price hike, considering that the planting season may already be behind us? Well, this has always been the call by well-meaning Ghanaians that uh, the economy should be managed in such a way that we are not uh, overly exposed to external vagaries uh, of the of their economies you know but unfortunately we are still struggling to insulate our economies now we all know very well that uh, we should produce enough to feed ourselves but unfortunately all our strategies over the years to have enough food to feed ourselves have not actually achieved the results as it stands now what government needs to do is to increase investment in agricultural production. But I just wonder whether government has got the resources to do so. And not even only that, the bureaucracy that goes with government in terms of resources to uh, uh, productive areas, particularly agriculture. So I am not seeing that government, first and foremost, is ready mm. to change its course mm. to invest more in agriculture. And then secondly, whether government will also be able to surmount the challenges that go with uh, this type of emergency deployment of resources to the agricultural sector to be able to increase our production to avert uh, further price increases as a result of the decisions that have been taken in Europe. Uh, which quite simply means that the prices of food on the Ghanaian markets is rightly expected to go up and go up rather significantly. Yeah, you all, uh, you agree with me that uh, the phenomenon of uh, uh, food prices going up has been with us for about uh, two, three years now continuously. You know that food inflation has been leading the national food uh, increase. And uh, it isn't that government is not aware, but it's just about the ability to stop it. And we have still not been able to do so. The recent government's science report mm. shows that uh, food inflation is so uh, very, uh, right. uh, is leading. Right. And so because of that, I don't think that we have an immediate solution. So mm. everybody should so actually brace for higher prices uh, in the coming months. Right then. Um, Dr. Carroll, many thanks. That's uh, 